All right, so the draw for Canada has just come out and it's time to go through the men's draw, which is a really interesting draw because a lot of players are pulled out as they did with the women's draw, but also a lot of players are playing. A lot of big names are still playing in this event and it gets a, a massive opportunity to win a 1,000 event here in Canada with a, a lighter field. Let's go have a look at who is not playing this event because we have some massive names not playing. All right, so here is the withdrawal list for the men. We've got Alcaraz pulling out, of course, making the final of the Olympics. He's not going to make it to Canada this year. Baez has also pulled out. Sarundalo has also pulled out. Demonor also deciding not to play last year's finalist, so he'll lose a lot of points, unfortunately, for that. Djokovic, he's not playing either because he's playing for gold against Alcaraz. Lehechka, he's pulled out as well. Musetti also pulled out of this tournament. Struff and Zhang have also pulled out of this event. So some big names there. Unfortunately, not going to be at this 1,000 event, but there are some massive names playing, so let's go to the top of the draw. All right, we've got 16 seeds in this one. Top eight seeds get a buy in the first round. Yannick Sinner, number one seed, gets a buy in the first round. He is the defending champion as well. Uh, he'll take on the winner of a qualifier or Martinez in the second round. Then you got Sonigo taking on Greek Ball. Winner of that will take on either Tiafo or the number 15 seed Tabillo in the second round. Then you got the number 8 seed Paul taking on Dadiri. Winner of that will take on either Shapovalov or Qualify in the second round. Then you got Echeverry taking on Jarry. Winner of that will take on the number 5 seed Rublev in the second round. Interesting draw. Paul's coming straight off the clay. He literally just finished playing on clay today. Obviously, Sinup has not played on the clay. He didn't play the Olympics, so he'll be ready to go, hopefully, for this event. Rublev has been in terrible form. He played last week. Bit of an upset loss last week to Tiafo, so that's going to be awkward. So, uh, you gotta watch out for Sinner, of course. You gotta watch out for Rublev. You gotta watch out for Paul. You gotta watch out for Tiafo. I would be watching out for him. He seems to be coming good. Again, on the North American hard courts, you know, he does this every year. It feels like he, he has a great, you know, sort of August, September. And then you've also gotta watch out for Shapo. Of course, playing at home. Shapo Varlov. He made a name for himself here by beating Rafa all those years ago. So he loves playing here. So interesting to see how he rebounds after that default from last week. Next section of the draw, you've got number three seed Mevedev. He'll take gets a bye in the first round. He'll take on either Bikina or Sefulin in the second round. Then you've got to qualify taken on Anaudi. Winner of that will take on either Diallo or the number 16 seed Hashinov in the second round. Then you got the 12th seed on Bear taking on Feast. Winner of that will take on either Borges or Kecmenovic in the second round. Then you got Mikkelsen taking on Nishikori. Winner of that will take on the number 8 seed City Pass in the second round. This is also an interesting section. Very fun to see, uh, you know, Medvedev coming back on the hard court so quickly. City Pass as well. Both of them played last week in Paris. So they're very quickly coming back to the hard courts. Uh, you've also got, you know, some uh, some interesting unseeded players as well. But you've got to watch out for Medi, of course. A hard court special Specialist, his words, not mine. Of course, Sidney Pass, you got to watch out for as well in this draw. But I'd also watch out for Umber. Can be very difficult on all surfaces. Also, Hashinov can be difficult and on all surfaces as well. And I've also watched out for Nishikori. Of course, coming back from injury, you know, he's sort of in the end of his career, I guess. So interesting to see how he does as well. This section of the draw will take on the Sinner section. So we could be getting in a semi-final Sinner versus Medvedev. Could be getting Sinner versus Sidney Pass in the semi-finals. Or if for some reason you don't think Sinner's going to get there, maybe you think Medvedev will get there. Maybe it will be Medvedev versus Paul. Or maybe Medvedev versus Rublev in a semi-final. Or maybe if you don't want to go with Medvedev, maybe City Pass versus Rublev or City Pass versus Paul in a semi-final. But interesting section. I mean, it's it's Sinner's half of the draw to lose, I think. And he's it's his final to make. Maybe Medvedev stops him, but that's about it, I think. Uh, those are the two guys that you got to watch out for, for sure. Next half of the draw, you've got number 17, Dimitrov. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on a qualifier in the second round because we've got two qualifiers going at it. Then you've got Poprin taking on Mahatch. Winner of that will take on either Bublik or the number 11 seed Shelton in the second round. Then you've got Ojal Yassin, the 14th seed. He'll take on Kabali. Winner of that will take on either Manorino or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got another qualifier taking on Monfils. Winner of that will take on the number fourth seed, Hercatch, who gets a buy in the first round. Interesting to see Hercatch in the draw, considering at Wimbledon, he completely obliterated his knee and then didn't play the Olympics. So it's cra crazy that he's back this quick, but it's great to see him in the draw. Uh, you got to watch out for Hubi, uh, just for the fact that he's come back so quick from knee problems. Uh, you got to watch out for Dimitro as well. Has been battling injuries, so definitely got to watch out for him. Watch out for Ojeli Asim, if he does play, coming off the Olympics, a very a good Olympic campaign. Got to watch out for him. Got to watch out for Shelton as well. He's been having a really, really good week this week. And also watch out for Monfils. We know the month. He's still going around. He's still kicking. And he can still get big uh, big scalps as well. So got to watch out for Monfils as well in this section. Bottom section of the draw, we've got the number six seed, Rude. It's by in the first round. He'll take on either Nori or Giron in the second round. Uh, then we've got Quarter taking on Pospisil. Winner of that will take on either Navone or the number nine seed, Fritz, in the second round. Then you got the 13 seed, Runa taking on Rayonic. That is a fire first round matchup. That is going to be crazy, especially if they're both healthy. We don't know if Rune is healthy. Rayonic has had his issues, but that could be fire. Winner of that match will take on either Marijan or Corinna Busta in the second round. Of course, Corinna Busta did win this tournament a few years ago. Then you got Thompson taking on Draper. Winner of that will take on the number two seed Zverev in the second round. Very fun section of the draw. It's a There could be some really crazy matches in this section. Of course, you got to watch out for Zverev. Got to watch out for Rude as well. You know, did do well here a few years ago. Fritz as well. Got to watch out 
for him. Back on hard court, so we'll see how he does. Also, watch out for Runa. If he does come good, we know how good he can be on all surfaces if Runa is healthy, so we'll see how he goes. But I'd also be watching out for Raonic because he is very, very dangerous and being at home, he must, you know, he's going to love this crowd and they could push him to get in an upset there and maybe winning a couple of matches. But man, very interesting section. Of course, this section of the draw will take on that Hercatch section, so we could be getting Zverev versus Hercatch. In a semi-final, we could be getting Zverev taking on Dimitrov. In a semi-final, if you want to go with something a little bit different, maybe Zverev taking on Shelton or Zverev versus Ojeli Asim if you want to get Felix in the mix and continue his form. Or if you don't think Zverev's going to get there, maybe you want to go with Hercatch taking on Rude. Maybe you want to go with Shelton taking on Fritz. You know, something a little different. The Americans getting through, but man, it's going to be an interesting tournament. Like I said, with no, you know, a lot of the big names not playing, it, it opens the field. Now, of course, Sinner's there, Medvedev's there, but and Zverev's there, but after those guys, if one of those guys don't win, then it's going to be open season. So let me know in the comments below. Who's winning in Canada? Of course, Sinner's the defending champion. He's probably the easy pick. I'm probably going to pick Sinner because on hard courts this year, he's been almost unbeatable. So he's back on the courts that have, you know, sort of made his name this year or at least got him to that world number one ranking. But you got to watch out for Medvedev. I mean, Medi is, is a hard court, you know, a, a hard court guy. And Zverev, I mean, who knows what he can do if he's healthy. So it's going to be interesting. Canada starts next week.